algorithm, 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 algorithm. Hey, you dummy, Eric here. So you might have heard this word algorithm and you should be wondering what it is because it's used in coding a lot. In fact, you use algorithms not only in coding, but in every day of your life. Let me give you an example. Maybe you guys don't drink tea, but I do sometimes. And there is a process, a specific way of how you make tea. And what you should be seeing right now is a flow chart that I made using draw.io. Now in this flow chart, there are several steps to making our tea. The first step is we need to boil the water. Now, after we're boiling our water, we have a decision to make. And that decision is a yes or a no decision. Is the water hot enough? Yes or no? If the answer is no, what we do is go back to boiling the water. So maybe after a minute, is the water hot enough? No, the water's not hot enough. Is the water hot enough after two minutes? No, and so on and so forth, until we get a yes. Is the water hot enough? Yes it is, then we may make our tea. Take your tea out, put it in the cup, and let it steep. Now, of course, there are more steps to it, but when we're writing a program, we want to think simply. Another example comes from one of my favorite TV shows, The Big Bang Theory. You're just in time. I believe I've isolated the algorithm from making friends. <laughs> now, in this clip from The Big Bang Theory, Professor Sheldon Cooper is trying to get Kripke to become his friend. I'm sure not for a totally selfish reason. Let's watch the steps and see if it's any similar to our T algorithm. It's a terrific book. I've distilled its essence into a simple flow chart that will guide me through the process. Yeah, perhaps the two of us might share a meal together. Yeah, I see. Well, then perhaps you'd have time for a hot beverage. Popular choices include tea, coffee, cocoa. I see. No, 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 wait, don't hang up yet. But what about a recreational activity? I bet we share some common interests. You tell me an interest of yours. You, really? On actual horses? <laughs> Tell me another interest of yours. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry. I have no desire to get in the water till I absolutely have to. <laughs> Tell me another interest of yours. Uh-oh, he's stuck in an infinite loop. I can fix it. A loop counter and an escape to the least objectionable activity. Howard, that's brilliant. <laughs> All right, Kripke, that last interest strikes me as the least objectionable, and I would like to propose that we do that together. Tomorrow. Yes, I'll pay. <laughs> so in that clip from the Big Bang Theory, you can see Sheldon moving through the flowchart based on the answers that he's getting from Kripke. Just like in our T algorithm. Every time I needed to make a decision, I would move through the flowchart, depending on yeses and nos. So here are the two algorithms. First, the friendship algorithm by Dr. Sheldon Cooper, which I'll put up on the screen and I'll actually link down to below. And then mine. And then side by side. Similar, yes? Dr. Cooper's is more complex than my tea making algorithm, but there's still flow charts, there's still algorithms for how to do something. Step by step instructions. That's all an algorithm is and that's all a computer program is.